Are you curious how these tube cutting techniques revolutionize the way we work? Welcome to another episode of Mac Minds Hub, where you'll see amazing tube cutting techniques. Let's dive in! Abrasive cutting stands out as a straightforward technique, utilizing a high-speed spinning disc to tackle tough materials. This method is good when you don't have a lot of things to cut or when the material is really hard. It's like using sandpaper on wood, but much stronger and designed for metal. You press the disc against the tube and move it back and forth until the tube is cut through. This technique is handy for small jobs or when you need a quick fix. Did you know that cold saw cutting offers a precise approach, much like a pizza cutter for metal? Ensuring clean cuts for pipes and tubes? The blade doesn't get hot, which is why it's called a cold saw. This helps to make sure the metal doesn't change because of heat and the cuts are very precise. It's perfect for cutting thin metal tubes without messing them up. The blade is round and sharp, and it spins around to make a clean cut. This technique is great when you need really accurate cuts, like when you're making parts that need to fit together just right. It's a reliable and tidy way to cut metal for all sorts of projects. Band saw cutting brings versatility into play, allowing for intricate shapes to be crafted from metal, akin to a tailor's sewing machine. There's a long, thin blade that looks like a ribbon, and it moves around wheels to cut the metal. This blade can cut straight lines or go around corners, making all sorts of shapes. The machine is run by a computer, so it can make the same cut over and over without mistakes. It's great for making lots of pieces that need to look exactly the same. This method is fast, accurate, and can handle big jobs, making it a favorite in factories and shops. Shearing provides a simple yet effective method, employing a sharp blade to slice through metal as easily as scissors through paper. It's a popular choice for making straight, clean cuts quickly and efficiently. The process involves two blades, one stationary and the other moving up and down. When the moving blade comes down, it pushes the metal against the fixed blade and slices it. This method is great for cutting big sheets of metal into smaller straight pieces. It's a bit like using a giant paper cutter, but for metal. Shearing is fast, simple, and gives you nice straight edges, which is why many people use it for cutting metal in workshops and manufacturing. Lathe cutting utilizes the rotational force of a lathe to sculpt materials into the desired form. Here's how it works. The material, like a metal tube, is spun around quickly. While it's spinning, a sharp tool stays still and cuts into the material. This method is very good for making precise cuts. It's like using a pencil sharpener that carves away the parts we don't need. Lathes are used in many places, like making parts for machines or even musical instruments. They're really good for making round things like screws or pipes, and they can make each one look exactly the same. This is important for things that need to fit together perfectly. Diving into a less conventional method, chemical cutting uses reactive substances to shape materials without the need for physical cutting tools. Imagine you have a piece of metal, and you want to cut it into a specific shape. Instead of using a saw or a drill, you use a special liquid that can dissolve parts of the metal. You apply this liquid only where you want the cuts to be. This method is very precise because it can make intricate designs without touching the material. It's like drawing on the metal with a magic pen that removes whatever you draw over. This technique is useful for delicate tasks where physical cutting might damage the material. It's used in electronics, art, and manufacturing tiny parts for machines. Plasma cutting steps in as an electrifying option, slicing through conductive materials with a stream of ionized gas. It works by shooting a jet of plasma that's super hot gas, so hot that it's like the sun's surface. This plasma melts the metal as it goes, making a neat cut. It's a bit like a tiny lightning bolt that you can control to cut shapes or holes in metal. This method is really fast and can cut through thick metal easily. It's used a lot in construction and manufacturing, especially when they need to cut lots of metal quickly and accurately. It's like a powerful, precise, and super hot pen for metal. 
advancing to intense heat applications. Oxy-fuel cutting combines oxygen and fuel to generate a flame hot enough to melt metal. This flame is focused on metal, heating it up until it's molten. Then, a stream of oxygen is directed at the metal, burning it and blowing away the molten material. This allows for precise cuts through the metal. It's a common method used in industries like manufacturing and construction because it can cut through very thick metals quickly and accurately. The equipment needed is relatively simple, usually consisting of a torch, fuel gas, oxygen, and safety gear. This technique is valued for its speed and efficiency in cutting metals such as steel. Rotary cutting then takes the stage, where a swiftly spinning blade or wheel makes quick work of cutting tasks. Imagine a pizza cutter. It works in a similar way. This spinning blade is pressed against a tube or pipe and moved around it. As it moves, it cuts into the material, making a deep groove. With enough pressure and rotation, the blade cuts all the way through, separating the tube into parts. This technique is often used for cutting metal or plastic pipes because it makes clean, round cuts. It's a popular choice for plumbing, construction, and crafts because it's fast and creates smooth edges. For more focused tasks, the pipe cutter tool is the go-to, offering simplicity and ease for cutting smaller tubes. It's small enough to hold in one hand. To use it, you open the cutter and place it around the tube. Then, you tighten it so the blade touches the tube's surface. As you twist the cutter around the tube, the blade makes a shallow cut, called a score. Each time you go around, you tighten the cutter a bit more, making the score deeper. After several turns, the blade cuts all the way through the tube. This tool is great for making quick, clean cuts without needing big, heavy equipment. And forming tailors the shape of a tube's end adapting it for specific functions or connections. This process is essential for ensuring that the tube can be connected securely to other tubes or components. It involves using various tools and techniques to expand, reduce, or otherwise reshape the tube's end. The goal is to create a precise fit that can facilitate a tight seal or enable the attachment of fittings, such as couplings or valves. This is crucial in systems to transport fluids or gases, where leaks must be prevented to maintain safety and efficiency. Have you tried any of these tube cutting techniques? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you find this inspiration helpful, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching!